nothing is really dead. The soil that you're walking upon, is it dead? So why is a cut plant dead? It's not dead. Even a dead body is not dead. If you keep a dead body here, it'll spring forth with life, too many lives, isn't it? <laughs> From one body, do you know how many maggots will come <laughs> So there is really nothing dead. That is the fundamental thing that one has to understand, nothing is dead. Everything that is just material for life. Either it's an active life or it's in the process of becoming an active life. Actually, the soil is much more active than you and me. Do you know this? The soil is actually far more active than your body and my body. It's much more. So there is really nothing dead. The planet is not dead, it's alive. If you are a booming voice, you can't. What do you do when uh, you have uh, plants which catch uh, ants easily and you know, it spreads? Uh, if you, you know, we should not use the medicines that are there in the market, the synthetic medicines, is there anything you can suggest which is natural? Uh, good. Uh, answer is a little bit lengthy but I'll give you, everybody is thinking synthetic pesticides not to use, but now use organic pesticides. Both are wrong. Why? Ten years before, we used DDT to kill our mosquitoes. Are you agree? And now, mosquito has created a resistant power to exist or to live against the DDT pest. Or synthetic medicines. Similarly, tomorrow if you use a neem earth or all any other types of organic uh, pesticide what we are using, say neem, particularly neem earth or tambaku or chili, something like that, tomorrow plants, insects will also create resistant power against your organic pesticides. Then what you will do? You will stop farming or you surrender yourself, as Guruji said, to the plant and finish the life? No. Answer is, create a plant such a insects will not like to visit. Create in a resistant in power… In South India, in South India they are using Coca-Cola <laughs> <laughs> Create… A, create a fertile soil, a healthy mother, the birth of child will be healthy and no disease will affect to a healthy child. Same thing with our plant. Create a soil such a way, we call Amrut Mitti, that no insect will come. Again, visiting of insects is indicating that fruit not to be consumed by human. Please remember, don't try to find any alternate medicine to misguide or to kill with any other medicine or any other alternate approach because, please be clear, insects are not coming by themselves, they are invited. There's two words in Hindi, Amantran and Nimantran. <laughs> Nimantran, which you can't refuse. Amantran is welcome, if you are coming, we are happy. But if you can't come, we understand you are busy. <laughs> but plants nimantrit karta hai insect ko, amantrit nahi karta, insect ko anai padta hai, insects has to visit to finish his fruit because fruit not to consume by human. So answer is not to find any alternative medicine, wait for new plant, create our own soil such that fruit comes more healthy for consumable for human being. Now similar things are uh, not only being done to the plant, it's being done to the human being himself. Instead of eating the right kind of food which will make us healthy enough, fifty-two percent of human body is bacteria. 
if you keep the body in a certain way, this fifty-two percent of bacteria, fifty-two percent of human body weight is bacteria. And if you have one trillion cells, you have hundred trillion bacteria in the body. That means only one percent of you in numbers, only one percent of you is you, ninety-nine percent of you is bacteria. <laughs> if you go by democratic <laughs> system <laughs> now, with so much bacteria, you don't fall sick if you keep this body in a certain way. They can also live, you can also live. If you kill all the bacteria, you will become half and you will also die. The pharmaceuticals, the way the so-called life-saving drugs that we are swallowing today because we want to be on tomorrow morning for whatever hits us today, today there is substantial research which says, that the generation which uses heavy antibiotics, probably three generations later, that those people will be decimated human beings because the bacteria will not survive in their body. Genetically they will carry this, but the bacteria doesn't want to enter their body. If the bacteria doesn't enter, you will become half your weight right now. If all the bacteria exit right now, you will become half. So, you are healthy, not because there is no bacteria here. Kill, 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 this is not the answer. Make this in such a way that bacteria can live, you can also live. So the first thing, you see even the level of difference between people who live in tropical countries and people who particularly live in United States, not even so in Europe. Europe is little better. Europe, they still know that food comes out of land <laughs> In America, it all comes out of the mall, you know. <laughs> you see, the first thing that you have is the moment you come here and drink water, you will fall ill, not because the water is impure. Now they're labeling all the water in this country and everywhere else in the world is impure and everybody is carrying a… Uh, whatever this, mineral water, there's nothing mineral about it, it is… <laughs> Mineral water means you must collect from a mountain stream which is rich in minerals and it's good, full of bacteria too. <laughs> you kill all the bacteria and put in this bottle and drink. And now when you come and drink somewhere else, the first thing is you fall sick. People can't take water. There are a billion people surviving here drinking that water. But you declare this water is unsafe. It's a completely wrong attitude to life because fifty-two percent of your body is bacteria. And if you kill them, you cannot exist. In recent times, this is… Uh, this has become a… I do not know how many, but the number has crossed a couple of million. In United States, there are over two million people or so, I do not know the exact number, but it has reached that kind of million kind of number. People in whose bodies the bacteria doesn't survive, these are people in early childhood, because of some uh, congenital infections or whatever, they were given heavy uh, antibiotics and bacteria doesn't survive. Whatever you eat, you cannot digest, so they have to be fed pre-digested food. If they food, put any food into the system to digest, it is not your digestive system which does the breaking down of the food, it is the bacteria which does this. When you kill bacteria systematically right from your childhood, the bacteria cannot survive and to keep up their weight, they have to put pre-digested food. And one of the treatments that they're doing right now is, they're taking fecal matter, mixing it with saline water and putting it into the system, full of bacteria, fecal matter. Now once you put the bacteria, people are recovering. So if you don't eat right, if you don't grow your food right, tomorrow you will end up eating shit, <laughs> literally. <laughs> it's not working, please. <coughs> On it, like.
நம்ம ரெண்டு பேர் பேசிக்கிறோம் Two, two new words I heard today, that's Nechuko farming and about surviving something, Entiro and all you are talking about, I'm not able to catch the word. No, no, it's that's just one. a combination of nature and eco. Yeah. Nature. A- another word you are talking about. Okay. Uh, he's not a farmer, he's a literary person <laughs> Uh, to make sure that uh, I got whatever you have said, uh, I can say the answer uh, for the question you have asked, whether banana eating… <laughs> you I, I believe, I believe as per the things you have said, uh, I think it is soil eating soil. Uh, if you get the answer, you will not question anything, you become silence. <laughs> I, I have a song for that. <laughs> I mean it. Hmm? Yes, sir. Uh, what do you, what you can say about uh, food? which is, uh, I have a feeling that uh, we eat food which is grown in the zone where we are living. Uh, what you can say about that? Is it, uh, is it uh, advantages or we are importing uh, greens or any vegetable from some other zone, some other uh, locality and then eat it? Uh, which one will be advantages? Best, grow with your own hands and consume the same. Uh, about the region, I mean, the region, yeah, geographical is, region is, and the is, food is, which can grow. It is grow better in. to eat in your surrounding area. What is surrounding area which you can grow by walking distance? It is your ecosystem. It is your ne- neighborhood area. So if you eat longer distance, we call eco food mile. If food comes in your plate, it's away from 10 kilometers or 5 kilometers, it increases the global warming. So first basic concept is we should eat with minimum distance, best is walking distance, do your own self, that is the minimum food mile. Be little more… Uh, <laughs> cycling distance. Um, what is the role of weeds and uh, how do you pull it without uh, feeling bad? Without feeling bad? Good. Answer is again go to the nature. Who dig the peat for planting a mango tree in the forest? No one. Why we want today? It is disturbance with ecosystem. To digging, we are creating a violence. No need. No need. No, I think uh, they didn't get it. The thing is, farming means we always think to plow, to dig and you know. Not understanding or not being alive or not being aware to the reality that most of the farming is done in the first nine to twelve inches of the land. Now your tractor goes and turns it upside down and we are very happy. The life which would have survived very well beneath the soil, you expose it to the sunlight, it just… I would say ninety percent, everything dies. Only what dives deep inside at that moment will survive, rest will all die. Without that bioactivity, there is no way you can grow anything sensibly to… In any sensible extent, you cannot grow it without that bioactivity. You're killing everything 
and then trying to grow, it doesn't grow. So you put urea, you put the, this one, you put sulfate, you put this phosphate, this, that, that. So you have a chemical, chemical cocktail, but you don't have food in its real sense. This may have… might have almost slipped out of people's experiences these days, but people who come from smaller towns and villages, I'm sure it's still in your experience. In your childhood, when you went into your back garden and you just plucked something and ate how it tasted, today something comes from the market, you eat that vegetable and see how it tastes. Taste is only one parameter. If you want, you can chemically test it. It's very, very different. I would say, like where I grew up, even today there is farm vegetables and uh, there is country vegetables. But I think in Coimbatore city it's mostly gone, it's all farm vegetable. Almost in every city it's all farm vegetable. When we say farm, we mean mechanized farm. So if you really check it up, in terms of nutrients, I would say at least about seventy percent of loss has happened in the last twenty-five to thirty years. So what we used to eat thirty years ago, you may have to eat three times or four times to get the same nutrients and nobody can eat that much. So naturally, all doctors are saying now, unless you pop a pill or unless you eat non-vegetarian food, there is no way you can nourish your body. They're proving to you that you cannot nourish your body with vegetarian food. We have lived in this land for thousands of years on vegetarian food pretty well. And without any animal product, not even with milk, without even using milk, people have survived and lived well. That is because the food was grown in a certain way. Just thirty years ago, how the quality of vegetables was and how it is today, it is bigger of course today. It's much bigger, weighs better, it's good for the market but not good for the man. when we steal organic carbon released from the soil and become carbon dioxide, so life reduce, one. Second most dangerous point is water holding capacity is becoming less, so you need more water, which is going to be a bigger problem for the farmer, two. Third, microbial life you already explained. Fourth, erosion. Erosion of the soil is comes 10 to 80 tons per hectare per annum. A one inch of soil takes 500 years to prepare. So if there are so many other reasons why not to dig, why not to till. The usage of water in modern day agriculture is quite criminal. Normally, for example, to grow a coconut tree, the drip irrigation companies will tell you. Drip irrigation is a way of economizing on water. They will tell you minimum fifty to sixty liters of water per tree. I have personally grown my coconut trees with about eight to nine liters of water. One pot which is about nine liters of water and with this you can grow a coconut tree very well if you take care of the soil in a certain way. But they put fifty liters with drip irrigation, with flood irrigation they are putting I don't know thousand liters per tree. <laughs> You get four hundred coconuts.